We have never made a video specifically about concrete screws, yet we have used hundreds of them in just bolt busters alone, and you've used them in anchors for climbing, right? Uh, temporary anchors, yeah. Start it up. Super strong and easy to put in, easy to take out. We've done a dozen or two dozen tests on these in different substrates, and we're gonna talk about the strength of them, and we're also gonna talk about the MBS of rock. This is a Simpson Strong Tie Titan HD concrete screw. <laughs> Not all concrete screws are created equal. These are the ones that we use and are confident uh, recommending in the way that we do. This is a 3 8 bolt, but because of the um, extra screw threads on the outside, it doesn't fit all that well in a 3 8 hole hanger. Like there, there's binding and you could work it on, but there is the chance that you're going to damage thread. When they say it's a 3 8 bolt, that means they want you to drill a 3 8 hole. This cuts threads in the concrete as you drill it in. Or rock. It does fit very well in a half inch hole hanger. But I see space, it kind of seems to like float around in there. Is that safe, Bobby? Stay tuned. <laughs> A lot of people ask me what bolts I carry in the new store that I've got. I've got 1500 different things in here, but I don't really carry construction bolts because they're too easy to get on other websites. But I do carry things like these titanium Eterna bolts and some titanium U-bolts. And I'm gonna be carrying the crossover bolts soon. I was able to get a whole box of fix anchors as well. Now, a lot of the videos we make are not even about products we sell, but it's supposed to be helpful stuff. So this is the kind of stuff though that does support the channel. So if you want to help support the channel, you can either get stuff there, you can become a supporter. And if you sign up for emails, you can check out what sales we've got going on. So this is one of the biggest questions we had when we were first testing these. And so we were pulling them straight up or in tension, which is gonna be the worst case scenario for this. The hanger peeled off. <gasps> but albeit a high force, it was 39.60, 30.98, and all stronger than a carabiner. If you have an impact drill and you put the, the bolt in the hole and you have the hanger partially on, a 3 8 hole hanger, you could just screw it on and the hanger will, it'll fit. And you might damage the threads, you might not have the screw. What you have to be careful of is not to put your hand in there to hold it in place. You are not strong enough to do that. You could break your hand or damage your ego as you hurt yourself because the thing will scrap and it will spin very, very fast. <laughs> Don't ask us how we know that. So that's a caution with using a 3 8 hole with a 3 8 uh, concrete screw. Many bolts come with a washer. These do not. They have a very cool ridges here that kind of acts as engagement with whatever they're tighten down into to prevent spinning. In granite, if you're installing these, you could destroy the threads in really good rock. So for really hard rock, they're kind of a pain in the ass to use. In really soft rock, they go in well, but the rock's going to get compromised a lot faster. What broke? Where was this? Uh, I think it was like right there. So we find these to be actually really good in like medium rock? These are just kind of regular threads that engage like on a screw and the threads up here are hardened and they're for cutting. And if it's really hard rock, uh, they get damaged fairly easily and then your bolt just spins in the hole. Which compromises all the threads that are engaged up to that point. But then like all our bolt buster tests, because they're great temporary anchors, we use them to hold down our hydraulic, the part that's pulling the sample. They were coming out. I don't think we're gonna be able to go above 50 kilonewtons with these bolts. I'm gonna to have to put in something else. After just one test, they were coming out. Well, I did pull up to 50 kilonewtons, but they didn't hold as well. I see these as a great removable anchor versus as a reusable bolt. So my use case that I think they're excellent for is I wanna get down over a cliff, but there's no tree or boulder here for me to anchor off of. So I can put two of these in. They probably won't be used for the main anchor. So when I'm done doing everything I'm doing, I can just take them out, patch the hole, and move on to the next climb. We tested Petzl Core Pulse bolts, and those are removable and reusable, but they're expensive. And 
you could get two of those if that's what you're doing all the time and drill your holes with uh, drill bits that are compatible with it. Four cutter. And you can uh, use those, but these are three bucks for stainless, two bucks for zinc plated, and zinc plated is okay if you plan on taking it out. Zinc plated is not good for permanent installations. But that's a zinc plated four inch, three eighths, Simpson HD Titan concrete screw. And those, they're great when you plan on pulling them out shortly after you install them. But how strong is the bolt itself, you ask? Well, we were able to put a different hanger on when we were testing a tension, and we were able to get 43 and 42 kilonewtons with, before the head would snap off. And when we tested these in shear, in granite, we were able to get 46 kilonewtons before the head snapped off, which is super similar enough to the ones in tension. No, it's nice to know that if you yeah. pull this way, yeah, it's twice as strong as a carabiner. If you pull this way, it's twice, twice as strong as a carabiner. Yeah. I mean, that's interesting. Yeah. What do you think? Is this why we've never made a video about this? Because it's not that interesting? <laughs> These are number one bolt we use. <laughs> I mean, they just work. I mean, that's not very interesting. <laughs> what about permanent anchors? How do you feel about them? So I have installed some of the stainless version um, as permanent anchors. And I have been going back to check. And five years out, I have no spinners. I know a number of other developers who are doing the same thing. You would definitely... Be a lot more likely to see spinners if you were putting the bolt in and out in and out in a reusable capacity which i don't think is best some people want to remove their bolts when they're not playing in that area so no one either damages them or sees them and when they come back to play in that area put them back in every time they come and go these are not those bolts petzl core pulses might be your best bet but then they're only intended to be repelling in a rope access situation, off of two of them, they're not meant for certain things. It depends what you're using them for. So how much does depth matter? We tested three inch instead of four inch into the concrete and pulled in tension. And in all three situations, the bolt came out a lot lower than when the hangers broke. So we unintentionally tested how often you can reuse the hole by testing hangers and just reusing the same three holes when we were going through a series of hangers. After pulling these things 20, 30, and sometimes 40 kilonewtons, we got these results. Test 105, the bolt straight up came out at 25. But 106, 20, 30, 40, 44.3. We really thought that screw was gonna come out. What do you think, Bobby? To about that depth, almost half the depth, was totally loose. You could just drop it in and then I screwed it in all the way. This, so there was there's only like only three threads holding this. Not that you want a wobbly bolt when you're climbing, but it is nice to know that it's the bottom of the hole that's holding the screw in. Concrete shear tests. We got 54 and 52 kilonewtons with the head snapping off. Hmm. So we intentionally tested these in shear in sandstone because I want to know how well they'll do in the softer rock. And we were able to break a hanger at 34 kilonewtons and then we were determined to see how well this bolt and hole would do. And when we pulled on it the second time, uh, it came out at 20 kilonewtons because we already compromised the hole so badly. The next two tests just came out of the rock, but they started to fail around 12 kilonewtons, which is technically, well, I guess if you're factor two falling hard enough on all your anchors, you can technically get that in a climbing situation, maybe even a high line situation. But if you cyclically do, let's say six kilonewtons, you would eventually put enough wear on this thing and get this thing to start moving in sandstone. I don't think these are a great solution in sandstone unless you are doing four inch, multiple anchors temporarily. Or longer. Or longer, yeah, they make. Yeah. Or bigger, like they make half inch versions. And we've never tested those. Do you know why? I don't think we can. <laughs> I don't know a hanger that's strong enough. I imagine yeah. what, 60, 70 before the neck would snap off? Easily. Another cool thing with removable bolts uh, is you can remove them, upsize the hole, and put in a glue in. And when would you need to do that? Say if you weren't positive about your placement when you put it in, you could uh, climb it a few times with the uh, removable temporary bolts and then when you're sure all the bolts are where they need to go you can pull them all out um, replace the holes that work with glue-ins and add new holes for other glue-ins. I'm using these Titan concrete screws when I'm done with this anchor 
I can just zip them out and patch the hole. Um, Are these, is this not going to be your anchor for the top? This would be my, my um, primary anchor at the top of the route. So I would just pull them out, oversize the hole, and put a glue in. Gotcha. Yeah, it's nice if you're developing a route to not just the first time you go up or even rappelling, sticking stuff in and guessing. It's nice to have climbed the route a bunch and really know that's the right spot because when you put a stainless steel glue in, it's gonna be there a while. All concrete screws are not created equal. There are a ton of these products on the market, many of which I would suspect are not very good for this purpose. But these Simpson Strong Tie Titan HDs that we have used a lot, I feel comfortable using them as anchors. Yeah, we know we've tested these and we use these. Our friend Mark Hanna uses these Hilti concrete screws and he's used them personally and Hilti's a great brand. I imagine they are super good enough, but we have not yet tested them. And they're a super similar design to the Simpsons. We have not tested Multi Montes yet, though I plan to, including the 7.5 millimeter ones that Cavers will use also for temporary anchors. Because when they go lead climbing, they set the rope up so no one else has to do it again. <laughs> Kind of different than climbing, right? But there is all sorts of use cases for these, all sorts of different sides of brands, and we will get to all of it. And that will be in the, you guessed it, the Bolting Bible. We just revamped it. There's an entire section for concrete screws now, and I'd love your thoughts if you have them and you have experience with concrete screws to make that section bigger and better. Because our experience has only been with these Simpson ones. Go through the New Testament and read the individual sports that we've broken out into all the specific use cases. And the Old Testament is all the stuff that's more generalized so you understand how bolts work, even if you don't plan on installing them, but trust your life to them. Thanks for watching. Cheers.